Gyroflow has this incredible new feature called keyframing that allows you to adjust parameters to different values throughout your timeline. And I'm going to show you um, what are some advantages of that, particularly with Horizon Lock. Um, but first, I want to just show you how to do it. Basically, you, all you do is you just right click on any parameter and enable keyframing. So in this case, I've already enabled it there. Let's say we wanted to enable it on smoothness. So I would enable keyframing. Now I would make my adjustment and you can see the line going up and down on the left, that green line down here. Now if I move the timeline forward and I want it to be smoother over here, then I kick up the smoothness to where I want it and it's gonna gradually adjust in between there and get smoother and smoother and smoother. Then if for some reason right here I wanted it less smooth, I can kick that down to whatever value I want. And keep in mind, it's going to adjust smoothly between those values. So if you still want it smooth all the way up to this point, then you need to set it there. And you can see the line's going to then go between those. And you can also do easing on these too, which will make them... Um, See, it'll, it'll give you curves here. So ease out, um, ease in. That'll, that'll basically give you smooth transitions so there's not a jerky transition. So let's take a look at an instance when keyframing can be super handy. In this particular instance, I'm using it on Horizon Lock because horizon lock you want for part of the shot a lot of the time but not necessarily for the whole shot because it looks really screwed up if you do any extreme banking um, so in this was kind of the perfect instance to demonstrate that so check this out okay on this shot you can see how hard I'm banking left and I wouldn't want to level the horizon on this part but then right here I'm gonna slowly start ramping up horizon leveling smoothly I'm just ram ramping the lock amount um, to about 85% to start with. And then as I get further up here towards the lighthouse where I actually, when I, you'll see when I make this move, I want to keep it level. Then I'm just slowly ramping up the lock amount to 93, up to 100 ultimately. And it's just a gradual smooth ramp up. And, you know, I'm not banking a lot in this, but ultimately, um, you'll see when I'm coming around here, you can see how the drone is banking. And really, this part of the shot looks best with a level horizon, right? It kind of looks like a, an Inspire gimbal shot instead of an FPV shot, which is kind of neat. And then for this dive out, though, I wanted to take it off again. Um, one, because it looks cool, and two, because it actually would zoom way too much. So I'm gradually ramping it down here, and then here I quickly ramp it all the way off. So no horizon lock. And yeah, keyframing on horizon lock is just a total game changer. Really made this output work. Now on the next part of the video, you can see again, uh, maybe even, even more definitively on this part, um, so I'm whipping around here, and I've got basically, uh, if you see on the right side here, um, lock amount was way down, and then I'm just ramping it up as I approach the lighthouse again, because I'm going to do an orbit. And of course, a lot of the time with FPV, you want that FPV look, but I think for this shot, having the horizon locked is pretty nice it let me fly uh you know black magic pocket 6k up there and treat it like a gimbal uh drone you know it, it it goes around as if pretty much looking like it's an inspire or you know some other bigger lifter, but it's an fpv <laughs> so yeah that's pretty cool you can see how much the frame is tilting and how much gyro flow is correcting for that. And I'm, I'm ramping it down here again. Now it's down to 
uh, only 16%, but it still does a really good job of smoothing out those horizon twitches. Um, so it's not totally locked. And I did put in a little bit of a roll angle correction over there too. But And then you can see it's just keyframing right off and going back to normal for the fly out here. So it looks FPV again. You could combine that with some very interesting moves, you know. Down here I've got a little you know, letting it tilt. I took the lock down to zero, so it now it's flying and looking more like FPV. And somebody came up to talk to us. 